It's okay. So what have you, so have a block, place it in between your thighs. Inhale, stretch up. Big stretch over to the left. We'll just start by simply kind of warming up your body, warming up the spine, waking up the body, maybe from sitting down all day in front of computers for work, for school. Interlace your fingers and now just open into the front body, the hips, the chest, relax the shoulders. Bend the knees a little bit so that you're not compressing, but you're lengthening the back and lifting from the sternum, so the heart up. And now exhale, slowly come down and just relax. Let the upper body hang like a rag doll. Let the spine decompress down with gravity. And now grab opposite elbows and hand to just sway from side to side. Make sure that your body weight is slightly forward onto your big toes. So if you look from the side, my bum is not behind, but it's slightly on top of my knees and ankles. And now as you breathe in, Take a deep breath into the side of your ribs, and as you exhale ha, through the mouth, let your body melt down further. And now release the arms, and just like a rag doll, we're gonna bring mobility into your spine, waking up the nerves in the spinal cord, one by one as you slowly roll up from the bottom, like a rag doll, roll and stack now the middle, the top, the shoulders now, shoulders back and down, palms forward, standing proud and tall. Inhale, breathe in, re-energizing, revitalizing, resetting the day. And as you exhale, melt down, chin to chest, release and let go of any stresses, anything bugging you, anything frustrating you from the day, let it just melt away. We need two more. Bend the knees, squeeze the block, and now roll up with the inhale. Kind of like you're blowing up a balloon. As you slowly inhale, filling the body up with air, rising up all the way to the top, shoulders back and down, palms forward, heart opens. Inhale once again, reach up to re-energize, revitalize. And exhale to release any frustration, anything that irritates you, anything bugging you, any tension, let it out. And now slowly, last one on the inhale, roll yourself, rising up, lifting up and stacking your spine one vertebrae at a time, shoulders back and down. From here, you're gonna inhale again, we do a side stretch to open to the side of the ribs, the side body, grab your right wrist, turn your right palm to the sky, and now pull the entire upper body to the left, and send the hips to the right. Now, if you can, lift the inside left foot. Yes, notice how that makes your hips go more towards the right, and you can lift out of the bottom left hip as well. So you don't compress, but you lengthen both side bodies. Take a deep breath in and out, stretch. Imagine you're trying to reach the person beside you. Yeah, so Laura's trying to reach the wall. Charisse is trying to reach Laura. Simon is trying to reach the TV. And now bend the knees. Grab the outside of your left leg and just twist open. Feel like you're twisting out anything that's stuck in the middle of the body, the stomach, the organs, the chest. Relax back down. Relax the head. Sink it out. Yes. I'm going to continue breathing. No, I'm not going to give up yet. Inhale, rise up. Stretch up again, and now grab your left wrist, left palm faces up, hips towards the left upper body to the right. So once again, you're using this bottom right hand and arm to pull the upper body up and then over. Chin away from the throat, slightly gaze towards the ceiling. So your bottom right shoulder comes slightly forward, top shoulder back. And now if you can, lift the inside foot again. <laughs> Try to use your balance, that's it. And using all the weight into the left heel, send the hips slightly forward, upper body lifts and then goes over towards the right. 
Relax the shoulders, lengthen the space between the ears and the shoulders, long neck. And now release. Once again, slight twist as you rinse out the spine. Compress the abdominal region to twist open into the heart. Really spin the top right shoulder back and away from the ear. One more inhale. And then ready, relax, exhale through the mouth. Huh. This time here, bend the knees, squeeze the block, interlace your hands behind you, press the palms together. Roll the shoulders away from the ears to lengthen the neck and now poke the chest and look forward to rise. Opening up, yes, nicely done. From here, you're gonna slide the hands onto your bum, push the bum forward, maybe if you wanna go lower, you can slide the hands all the way down, chest up, look up. Once again, lifting instead of sinking into the lower back. Come back up and shake it out. Are we feeling a little bit more awake? All right, to remove the block. Inhale, come to the back of your mat. So we're gonna kind of get the blood flowing. So it's usually late in the afternoon, maybe we've been sitting down, and everything's been sinking with gravity. All the blood flow is in the base of our hips and the feet, and it's not really moving around. So let's circulate the energy, circulate your blood flow, bring oxygen to the brain to wake up again. So inhale, switch up, and exhale, come down. And then here comes the fun part. Inhale, walk yourself forward like a plank. You're just gonna say hello. You're gonna wake up the body. So rotate outside edge of the right foot, inside edge of the left foot, and reach left arm up to the sky. Say hello to the sky, say hello to the world. You might not have looked up for a while because you've been staring at your computer all day, looking at emails or on meetings or on lectures at school or in the books. Come back. And now other side, say hello to the other side of the world. Stretch up and open. Lift the hips up higher, reach up towards the ceiling, come back again. We're gonna do that one more time on each side. Inhale, say hello. Exhale, come back to your strength, plank. Inhale, say hello. Exhale, as you come back to your plank, make sure your hips and your bum aren't lifted and try to puff the back of the heart. So make space between your shoulder blades. Now, lower the knees down. And now lower the chest, but keep the elbows in. So make sure the elbows don't go out, but the elbows go in and now send your chest forward and down. Yes, nicely done. And now like a snake, you're gonna slide the chest forward, untuck your toes, come into your cobra. Excellent. And now bring your arms out like an airplane or like a beautiful wingspan of a bird. And now the bird usually eats insects, right? So we're gonna come into a spider. So bring your hands off the mat like a spider. Fingertips up and now you're gonna lift up. We're gonna move into the upper chest. So the upper thoracic is usually really tight. So we're gonna try and bring a bit more movement by bringing now the left shoulder down, head falls to the ground, twist. Yes, inhale. So see how nice that feels because we probably haven't moved this upper thoracic spine too much. Exhale, twist. Inhale again, back up. And exhale, twist. Other side, inhale. And exhale, twist. Inhale, back up, shoulders down, shoulder blade tips to the bottom of your bum. And now chin down, forehead down, hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes, lift slightly up, and now see if you can push yourself up into a plank again. Awesome. And now from here, press back, downward dog. Try to kiss your knees. So look at your belly button and kiss your knees. And now bend the right knee, bend the left knee. Shake out the head, yes and no. And now inhale, look forward and slowly walk your baby steps, your feet to the front. All the way to the front. And now release. Inhale, once again, reach for the stars, come up to the sky. Really reach for the stars up. And as you exhale, bring it back home to your heart this time. Yes, well done. Inhale again, stretch up, reach up. Exhale, come back down. This time here, inhale, look up and step your left foot back, right foot back, high plank. And this time here, you're gonna walk your hands to the back of your mat. 
So we're going to say we're going to move the energy through the body, move the circulation. So here we go. Big circular. So inhale, stretch up. With each breath, move, exhale down. Next breath, inhale, move forward, walk your hands forward. Next breath, exhale, lower the knees or no knees, come down halfway and now poke your chest forward and up. Cobra, exhale, once again, moving with each and every breath you take, downward dog. And now slowly walk your feet back, continuing the exhale. And then inhale back up again. So remember, each movement is with one breath. So inhale up. We're going to do that one more time. Exhale down. Inhale, walk the hands forward. Exhale down. See, I told you we get the heat of the body moving, the energy flowing, the oxygen to the brain, waking up the body and the mind. Exhale, down dog. And now keep walking the hands back all the way. Beautiful. One more inhale. This time here we're going to do only halfway. So inhale, stretch up. Exhale, come down. Let go of the head and the neck. Make sure there's no tension. Inhale, walk forward. Exhale, lower either the knees or no knees. Halfway push up. Inhale, rock yourself forward and up. Exhale, press it back down. And this time stay in your downward dog. So making sure you're creating that V shape. You're spreading your fingers wide. And now sink your heels down and try to pull your toes up towards your knees. So when you do that, the thighs should contract. Your thighs should get a little bit stronger when you lift the toes up and the heels sink down. And now you also increase the lengthening, the stretch of the back of the thighs. Maybe shake out the head yes and no. And find, look at your hands and make sure that they're spread like this, like jazz hands. And you have an L shape between the thumb and the pointer finger. Anchor and press the L shape down to push the chest closer to the thighs. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Stay in your down dog. Yeah, exhale. Ha, don't give up yet. We're almost there. Inhale. Now, listen carefully. Right hand, left ankle or foot now poke your head and twist for three push the left hand and push the hip up, up so opposite foot opposite hand and if you fall that's okay well if you fall what you're probably doing is you're probably trying to do the same size so you want to do is the opposite so left hand to right foot now twist so when I grab my right wrist with my left hand, I poke my head underneath my right armpit and I check out if I smell or you check out the sky. Hopefully we all shower today. And switch other side. Excellent. All right, back. So this time here you have an option, you can either get bouncy and you can bounce and jump forward or you can step forward. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bring it back home to heart. And then Tadasana. So think of Tadasana, it's like, ta-da, I did it, right? Ta yeah, ta-da. Are we feeling a bit warmer now again? Still feeling awake? So we're gonna come down now into all fours. So come into all fours, which means Hands underneath your wrists, knees underneath your hips. I'm just gonna turn the light on. Is this better? So coming into all fours, so my belly is nice and engaged. My knees are underneath my hips and my hands are under my wrist. Are we taking a water break? <laughs> all right. So if you need a water break, take a water break and then join me into all fours. I'm just gonna maybe sway the hips from right and left. Moving the spine, moving the lower back, moving the body from side to side, not in the linear, but the sagittal plane. So we usually move forward and front and back. We don't use a lot of sideways movement. Excellent. Now do a couple of rolls with the shoulders, releasing any tension with 
the neck and the throat. And now come into our cat and cow. So remember our jazz hands, spread them wide. Cause if we put all the pressure in our wrist, we're gonna get pain in the wrist. So what we wanna do is we wanna shift the weight into the fingertips and the knuckles and that L shape. So anchor the fingertips and knuckles and now roll the shoulders and hold to your cow. Open to the chest, squeeze the elbows in. All right, so stretching both fingertips and toes. And now once again, lift your belly button up two inches to the sky. Stretch your fingertips forward two inches. Send your toes back two inches. Pull the armpits and the shoulder blades down to your hips, away from your ears. One more inhale. This is really good for your core, really good for your hip and your shoulder stability. On the exhale, you're gonna say, yes, I did it. Bring knee to elbow, curl in. Inhale, stretch. Try to reach the person in front of you or the wall or whatever you have in front of you, yeah. And on the exhale, bring the knee to your elbow. Say, yes, I'm doing this, I'm rocking it. Inhale, good job, that's it. Stretch fingertips and toes further away. Exhale, in. It's beautiful, one more. Inhale, stretch forward. Imagine someone pulling your fingertips and your foot in opposite directions like a tug of war. And remember that belly button? Lift it up two inches. Excellent. Now bend the right knee, reach the left arm up to the sky and grab the outside of your foot. And now spin the chest open to the sky and now kick. The more you kick the foot into your hand, the easier it is to balance. And remember this standing right shoulder. Make sure you're not sinking, but really lifting as you kick back. And if you fall out, that's okay. Get back up for three. I promise you an easy part is coming up for two. <laughs> Inhale, open, you've got this. That's it, Sharice. Now, you're gonna leave the leg behind you up. You're gonna bring the left hand down, flex the fat foot and place it parallel to the mat. So I'm sideways here. This leg is gonna spin back and I'm gonna reach up and over. Yes. So try to reach the bicep over the ear and look up towards the sky. So I'm not closing, but I'm opening myself up towards the ceiling. And now here comes the fun part if you want. You can lift the bottom knee off the mat. So side plank, give it a try. You don't know if you don't try it. So now lift the knee up, yep, give it a try for five, four, three, two, hips up higher. Nicely done. And release, come back. Nicely done, well, good effort. <laughs> Ready for the other side? All right, other side, so shake it out. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. And when you do on one side, you always wanna do on the other, right? Life's about balance. So you do on the right, you gotta do on the left. So now inhale, right arm straight out. Exhale, left leg straight behind you. And now lift your belly button up two inches. Stretch your fingertips forward two inches, toes back two inches, and now pull the armpits and the shoulders away from the ears towards the back of the room. Inhale again, lift up, so you're not sinking, but you're really lifting out of the hip and the shoulder. Keep breathing, because if you forgot to breathe, it's gonna be harder. Lift the belly button up a little bit higher, so imagine someone's pulley pushing their hand on your lower back, and you're trying to press your lower back up against their hand. One more inhale, and on the exhale, curl in, knee to elbow. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, stretch again. And exhale, say yes, I'm totally rocking this right now. Crunch it in, you've got this. Inhale, one more. Exhale, say yes, I love my core and my abs, so I'm gonna keep doing one more again. Inhale. And exhale, working all the small stabilizer muscles in the shoulder girdle and the hip girdle. Inhale, stretch, lower the hand down, flex the back foot, place it down, spin the bottom right toes to the side and then open yourself into that side plank. Yeah. So from the side, it looks something like this, stretching up and over. And now, if you don't challenge yourself, we don't grow. If we don't push your limits, you don't see where you can go, you don't know if you can do it. So give it a try. Lift the bottom leg off the ground, hips up higher for five. You got it for four, 
Shoulders away from the ears, smile to tell your body that everything's okay for three, two, and now slowly come back into all fours. Awesome, inhale and exhale. And now because I said we do one one side, we do on the other, guess what I forgot to do? Lift the left leg or right leg, lift the other arm, stretch back and twist to open. So once again, this one here looks like this. <laughs> So this really tests your balance. It's the opposite hand, opposite leg, and the more you kick the hand into your foot, or the foot into your hand, the easier it is to balance. So stay in here for three, look up and behind you. For two, pull the shoulders away from the ears, lengthen the neck like a giraffe. And now, ready? Release. And when you fall, that's probably the best indicator that you're actually trying hard. So if you fall, congratulate yourself because you're actually trying it, right? That's a good thing. All right, come up. Bring your hands on your hip like you mean business and be like, yeah, I'm totally doing this, I can do this. Come on, like you mean business. If you sat down and you've given up, it's not time to give up yet. We still have half an hour to go. Bring your fingertips up. We're gonna stretch into the front of the arms, the forearms. So a lot of times we're on the computer, we're really compressing and tightening this area. So we're gonna open it. So flip the fingertips up, place them on your lower back, fingers down, and now squeeze the elbows, send the hips forward, and do a nice little opening chin down, or chin up, your choice. Whatever feels good to you. For three, for two, shoulders in, chest up, and now from here, I'm gonna bring my toes, tuck them up, I'm gonna bring my right hand to my left heel, stretch up and back. Now, if that's not available, we all have a book or a block, right? So you can put the book or the block a little bit higher and hold the block. And now from here, you're gonna release, slowly swoop the hand across and over, and now other side. So left hand to the right heel. For three, if you wanna support the head because it's too much on the neck, you can. For two, and one, release. Shake it out. Roll the shoulders, sit down onto your heels. Now I've got a torn ACL, so sitting down flat on my heels isn't really comfortable or available to me, so I'm gonna use my block and I'm gonna give myself a bit more height and sit on my block. So if it's too much your ankles or your knee, you can use this block and just sit on it to give you more height so you're not flat on the heels. So Simon, you might want to try that. You can put a block as well underneath you. So now we have two options. Option one, give yourself a hug. If you're practicing physical distancing, maybe you're not hugging each other very much. So give yourself a hug. There we go. And option one. Number two, option two, a little bit more. Bring your thumbs up like this, and if you're trying to, you know, give your thumbs up and then send them behind and grab your two palms. So come into eagle arms. You're gonna inhale up, and now exhale round. Pull the elbows in, chin down. Inhale up, and exhale, roll down. Inhale back up, and exhale, roll down. So that should feel like a really nice stretch in the back of the shoulder blades, the neck, the spine. Inhale, stretch up. Now you're gonna do the other side. So you're gonna swing the other arm under, give yourself a hug, option one. Give yourself some loving, or option two, eagle. Inhale up, and now exhale, pull the elbows to your pelvis, to your belly button, chin to chest. Inhale up. Really moving the upper thoracic spine, so the upper part of your spine between your shoulder blades that becomes really stiff throughout time from bad posture and from our daily habits of office and schoolwork. So three more. And down. Shake it out. Do a little bit of a twist here. So relax the arms, take a deep breath in. And now twist towards the left. Bring your bottom hand to your lower back and just twist back. Inhale again and twist. So think of your spine, visualize your spine like a wet towel that you're trying to rinse out from bottom, middle spine, upper spine, 
in between the shoulder blades, shoulders, neck and gaze. Inhale back up. Shake out the arms, loosen out the wrist. Come into all fours again. So continuing on with opening into the shoulders and into the upper chest from our daily habits, we're gonna move into stretching the back of the shoulders again. So from the side, we're on all fours. We're gonna lift our left arm up and I'm gonna swoop it underneath and release down. So my knees, if they're too close to my chest, it's not gonna be very comfortable. So sometimes I have to move my knees a little bit further away from my chest. <laughs> And if you find yourself, you're falling, that means you're putting too much weight on your bottom left hand. So you wanna really bring your body weight onto that outside right knee in your hand. So if you want a bit of a challenge again, you've tried this before maybe, bring the top right hand and grab the outside of the left hip. Yes, and now if you really want a challenge today, and you want to try and fall again and just see how much fun it is to do it or not fall, <laughs> lift your right leg and place it to the side. And you can spin the arm up. So this is a full body twist now that we're working into. Every single progression and every single addition just simply opens and goes a little bit deeper. So up to you where you want to go today. Yeah, see, there we go. And I said, if you don't try, you don't know if you can go there. So staying here for three, close your eyes and just kind of breathe into the areas that maybe feel a bit tighter. And as you exhale, see if you can relax. So Simon, press your heel down into the ground. So this is my foot that kind of makes sure that I don't fall back. It's helping me anchor my body. Yeah, there we go. Come back to center. And now reset the spine with one cat and cow. So inhale, lengthen and exhale, round, chin to chest. Other side, inhale, stretch up. And exhale, scoop through and under. And come to the same variations you did on the other side. So if on the other side, you bring the hand across and over, do that. If you brought the other now left leg across and over, do that as well. And then spin open. Staying here for another five breaths. So close your eyes to connect to what's going on inside again. Give your brain a bit of a break from processing everything going on externally and try to come in internally. So breathing here for three. For two, take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Ha. Awesome. Come back to center. Roll the shoulders back and forth. Slowly come up onto your knees. Inhale, stretch up. And we're gonna do the same thing we did right before is we're gonna do that little switch. So tuck the toes, right hand, left heel, stretch up and back. Bless you. So a lot of the times yoga is a great way to cleanse the body as well. It moves stuff that's stagnant and it exits. So great way to keep your immune system strong by breathing, by moving, by cleaning house. Inhale back up and now other side. Inhale back up. And now coming into our forward fold again. So plant the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, and now slowly walk yourself forward. Slowly roll yourself up. Shake it out, just because you can always do a bit of a shake out. Yes, and then once again, ta-da, sana. So find that ta-da, find that I am doing so great today. Yes. Open your heart up for possibilities, for opportunities. And now bring your hands like you mean business. And a lot of you guys, yeah, you guys will probably really mean business when it comes to balance work. So when it comes to balance, mean business, bring your focus and commit. So wait onto the right foot, lift your left leg up. Just do a couple of hip rolls first. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Excellent. 
And now we're gonna come into our tree. So think of a strong, stable, I mean business tree, right? Hands on the hips, chest open, proud stance. Option one, if today your balance is a bit off, keep your toes on the ground. Open the knee a little bit harder, bring it on the calf. Below the knee joint, never on the knee joint. And then a little bit more, inner thigh. Push foot into the thigh, thigh into the foot. So you're hugging everything in to rise up. So if you think of a tube of toothpaste, right? You're squeezing everything inwards to let the toothpaste go up and out. And now it's again, strong like a tree, like you mean business, take a deep breath in. Well done. If you fall out, just try again. Just keep trying, you've got it. If you have a partner next to you, maybe hold each other's hand. See if that helps. Hands to heart. Make sure you don't knock over the tree beside you. Inhale, stretch up and over for a little bit more challenge. <laughs> there we go, for three, two, and now, listen carefully, it's all about balance today, right? Hands to your heart or hands to hips. And I'm gonna slowly kick the foot back. So as I kick my foot back, I'm coming now into my warrior three. A little bit more balance again, yes. And now I'm slowly stepping back into my high crescent lunge. So my thigh is parallel to the mat. My knee is on top of my ankle, and if I look at my big toe, I can see it. If I can't, open the knee out. Inhale, stretch up and back. Exhale, bring my left hand down, spin right arm up. So it's the opposite. So my chest is looking at my front knee, and I'm twisting open. And now lower the knee down, and I'm gonna reach back and open the heart, option one. If you wanna go deeper, grab the outside of the foot, stretch into the calf. So it looks something like this from the side. Now notice if my knee and my ankle are too close, I don't have movement to open into the hips. So make sure I have a stance wide enough to sink my hips forward and then open back. Stay in here for three, open the chest up higher. Look back for two and one, nicely done. Slowly release, bring the hands to the inside of the foot. You're gonna come into a nice wide-legged forward stance. So lift the knee off the mat, walk your hands to the middle, and now keeping the wide stance, toes in, heels out, release down. Now imagine you have someone behind you and you're trying to reach for them. So walk your hands behind you, let the forehead try to touch the mat. And if you really wanna challenge, lift the heels off, come onto your tippy toes. Forehead down, look in between your big toes on the mat. Squeeze the inner thighs together, reach the hands behind you. So that's gonna help you balance so you don't fall forward. So as the fingertips reach back, shoulders away from the ears, belly engaged, thighs contracted, toes anchored down, big toe presses down and then release. Come back up. And now inhale, rise up. Say yes, I am totally awesome today. Well done. And now spin the front toes forward. Step forward. And then ta-da. Sana. Voila, ta-da. Now bring your hands on your hips like you mean business. Other side. Anchor your left leg like a strong tree root. Lift the right leg up and just do a couple circles first. Bring in a bit of mobility. When you move a joint, you bring synovial fluid, which is kind of nutrient-rich fluid to the joint. So it's kind of that move it or lose it. Motion is lotion. This is what we're doing, awesome. Bring now the toe either onto the ankle, onto the shin if you want to challenge, onto the thigh, never on the knee joint though, so above or below the knee because you're pressing the foot into the thigh and the leg into the foot. Relax the shoulders, hands on your hips, breathe. Well, see, this is your power stance, right? The heart is open, the shoulders are relaxed, you're standing proud and tall because you're balancing. Well done. And now option to either keep the hands here or hands to heart or do that little kind of side bend. 
So bottom hand across and over. This is all progressions to test your balance and go deeper into each pose. For three, for two, if you fall down, that's okay, get back up. And now, here comes the graceful transition. Hands on your hips or heart. Bring the knee back and now slowly kick it out and back into your warrior three. Chin slightly down and now bend the knee, come into your high crescent lunge. So kind of like your high runner's lunge. Heel on top of your toes. So if I engage the back leg, it's easier to balance and now lift up, stretch up and say, yes, I am like super Gumby, so flexible today and strong. Bring now left hand down, or sorry, right hand down spin open. So I'm looking at my front knee, my knee should be on top of my ankle. If it's not, readjust. And now lower the knee down, send the hips forward, and now reach back, stay here, or if you want to go further, grab onto the outside of your foot behind you. Coming into a nice quadricep, front of the thigh stretch. Yeah, look back and up for three, for two, Take a deep breath in, and now on the exhale, release. Hand comes to the inside of the foot. Tuck the toes, lift the knee, and now come into your wide-legged stance again. Toes in, heels out. And this time we're gonna do a bit of a twist. So my two ankles and hips should be in one line, so I shouldn't be looking like this. I should slowly shift more forward. And now I'm gonna walk my hands to the front of my front foot. So left hand to right ankle, now twist open. So every time you twist, there's a really nice detoxifying effect for the organs, the spine, the body. So notice if you can really feel yourself detoxing the day. At the same time, when you twist into the belly, you stimulate the digestive fluids, the acids in the stomach. So if you haven't eaten yet, great way to prep for digestion is to twist. One more inhale, come back. And now other side, twist, nice little juicy twist, lengthen. Create more space between your collarbones as you reach up towards the sky. Come back, bring the hands to the hips again like you mean business, inhale, rise up. And now reach for the sky, reach for the stars, bring your hands to heart. And now I want you to press, imagine you have two walls on either side and press your palms away like you're pushing away Anything that's bugging you, any stressors, anything you don't need, press it away out of your life to create a nice big bubble starting from your heart center. And now you're going to spin the front toes forward. And now bend into the front knee into your warrior two. So your warrior two looks something like this from the side. Now I want you to see your big toe. If you can't see your big toe, push this knee open. Yes. And now inhale, bring the back hand down, open into the front body. And on the exhale, bring the elbow into the front thigh, stretch up. And now over. So we're gonna do that two more times with your breath again. Inhale to move with each inhale. Exhale, moving with each exhale. Excellent, one more time, inhale. And exhale. Excellent. Inhale, stay back. And this time here we've got three options. So option one, you can bend the elbow, support the head, lift the elbow higher. Option two, you can grab the back hand and grab the outside of the front thigh right here. Now if you want to go deeper, you can grab both fingertips behind you to open into the chest. So slowly progressing into opening the shoulders more. Staying here for three, look up and now look back. Look down towards your back foot and make sure the inner edge of the back foot is lifting and the outer edge is anchored down. Staying here for three, relax the shoulders, lift the heart from the belly button. So pretend there's a string from your belly button, back to your spine and up to your heart to lengthen for two. And now come back, warrior two. The moment you've all been waiting for, straighten the leg. Yes, shake out the thigh, relax it. And now engage the inner thighs. You're gonna lift up, stretch forward and come into your trikonasana. So make sure this is a floating trikonasana today, which means there's no weight on my bottom hand. So I can inhale, slide up, 
and slide down. And now notice where you start to slowly cave and fall forward when you slide down. If you do that, you've gone too far, so go a little bit higher. So you wanna pretend there's a straight line from the middle finger to your bottom middle finger. Then look up to the sky for three, for two, and now if you wanna challenge your balance again, bend in. You're gonna bring your hand or your block to two o'clock on the outside. You're gonna lift up, stretch up into your half moon pose. Yes, just give it a try. We're only gonna stay here for three. Give it a try. If you don't try, you don't know if you can do it. So take flight for two. One more inhale. On the exhale, ready? Strong warrior two again. Inhale, stretch up. Say yes, I rocked it. Come back down. Step forward and now bring your back knee to your forehead, curled in like a tiny little ball. Inhale, halfway lift again. Exhale, and if you have crazy hair like I do, then it gets to kind of go along for the ride. Inhale again. And exhale, relax down. Ready? Rise back up, breathe it all in. And exhale, hands back to heart. Awesome, all right. Are you excited to do it all on the other side now? So inhale, stretch up. Now you just readjust the hair. Exhale, come down, relax and melt the upper body down to the floor. Decompress the spine, so come down. Inhale, back up. And now exhale, you're gonna step your left foot back, warrior two. So make sure this is the other leg, I think yes. So you're in your warrior two. Now if you can't see your big toe, that means my knee's caving in, so push the knee slightly out. And now bring your hands to the heart, inhale, lifting into the heart center, opening to the chest, proud and tall. And now press away any crap you don't need, anything you don't want, anything that's kind of weighing you down, push it away. When you press the palms away like this, you also should feel a nice stretch in the front of the chest, all along the inseams of the arms. That activates the pericardium meridian. So in Chinese medicine, that's your heart muscle that gets strengthened. So your cardiovascular system opens. Press palms away for three, for two. And now remember, moving with the breath, you're gonna inhale, bring the back hand down, lift the top arm up and back. On the exhale, you're gonna come forward and through, elbow to the thigh, reach across and over. Moving with the breath again, every time you inhale, stretch up and back. Exhale, come back and through. One more inhale. And exhale. This time here, you're gonna inhale, stretch up and back. I'm gonna come into whatever modification you did. So remember option one, hand behind the head. Option two, grab the back of the thigh. Final option, you can interlace behind your fingers and reach up to open to the shoulders. Now I want you to try and tuck the bottom bum down and forward. So it's kind of like you're setting the tailbone down, scooping the pelvis slightly forward to lift up out of the belly button. And now lift into the sternum, look up, and now look down behind you. Look at your back foot, make sure the inner arch is lifting and the outer edge of the foot is pressing down firmly for three, for two, relax the shoulders, lift the sternum, and now inhale, come back, strong warrior two. Straighten the front leg, yes. Extend the fingertips out, and now lift out of the inner thighs, inner thighs engage and come forward and down. Trikonasana. This is a beautiful stretch for the outside of the hip, the side body, and a good strengthener for your oblique. So this is important that you're not weighing down on your hand. And remember, engage your quadriceps and thighs. So if you find you're a little bit unstable, that's okay. Squeeze the legs stronger and use the obliques to support the upper body. So you're not weighing yourself down, but you're lifting yourself up for three, for two, and now get ready to take flight for one. Bend into the front knee, getting ready to take flight. You're gonna bring your hand to the outside of the foot. Then you come into your tree canoss or your half moon pose. 
So try to open up and look at one spot on the ground. When you look at one spot on the ground, it will help your focal point. For three, you've got this. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. One more, inhale. One more, exhale, you guys ready? Strong warrior twos, step back. You got it. And now high crescent lunge, say yes, I did it on both sides. Awesome job. Bring your hands down and now step forward. And on the exhale, you're gonna crunch in your back knee to your forehead, curl it in, say yes. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, knee to forehead, crunch it and say yes. One more inhale. And exhale. Release both feet on the ground. Shake out the upper body like an elephant trunk, let it loose. And just like we did at the beginning of class, roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders back and down. All right, so it seems like we want to sit down now and relax for a bit. So shake it out, well done. We're just gonna do finish off with one more um, standing exercise. Bring your legs nice and wide, wider than your hips. Toes are out, knees down, okay? This is a goddess pose. Lift your right heel, make sure the heel's on top of the ankle. Lift your other heel. There we go. And now lift both heels, tailbone tucked, navel back and up to your heart, shoulders relaxed, and then release. Bring the thumbs to the inside of the thighs, fingertips to the other side, now sink down. You're gonna inhale to lengthen the spine, and on the exhale, you're gonna drop the left shoulder, push the left knee, and twist. Inhale, come back up. So notice how my lower body doesn't move. It's only my upper body that's moving, but my legs stay exactly the same. So exhale, drop now the right shoulder down and twist. Inhale, back up. And now moving with the breath, exhale, twist. Inhale, back up. And exhale, twist. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale again. And exhale. Inhale back to center, stretch up, reach up. V for victory. And hands to heart. Take a moment just to kind of feel maybe your heartbeat against your thumbs. Connect back to your breath. Feel the nice wide stance support you, so adjust your toes if you need. Maybe close your eyes and just take a deep breath in. Then take a deep breath out. Excellent, release. All right, time to chill. Come down, sit down. How are we all doing? Still with me? Still alive? Yeah. All right. So cooling down time, shake out the legs. We're gonna come into a bit of a, a, kind of a strengthening back pose before we come into full chill out mode. So you're gonna bring the fingertips once again to open into the front. Fingertips are gonna be behind your bum. You're gonna squeeze the elbows together to lift the chest up. And you're gonna set the tailbone, you're gonna lift them to a reverse plank and relax the head back. Press the thumbs especially firmly down to the ground. So anchor the thumb in the pointer finger Squeeze the elbows together to lift the chest up higher. Squeeze the bum and the hips to lift the hips up higher. Press the big toes down to the ground for three, for two, and release for one. Well done. Shake it out. Awesome. All right, coming into our bridge pose, you're gonna bring your block. If you have no block, that's okay. But the block basically enables you to A, keep your knees hip distance and it engages your inner thighs. So it wakes these inner thighs up, but most of us have really weak. You're gonna bring the heels behind your sit bones. And then you're gonna lie down onto your back. Bring the elbows 90 degrees. You're gonna tuck the shoulders under you. Take a deep breath in and you're gonna send the tailbone forward and then up, come into your bridge. If you want to go a bit further, you can interlace the hands behind you. If you want to go a bit further, you can grab the ankles 
and that wherever you are, very important, look straight along your chest. So gaze is up to the sky and down to your chest. Try to bring space between your chin and your breastbone. For three. For two, you guys got it. And release, well done. Remove the block. Bring the arms up like a capital T, knees 90 degrees. And now slowly bring both knees over to the left. Keep both arms out like capital T, nice little supine twist. And then take a deep breath in. And really side out being like, huh, this is finally done. Awesome work today, guys. Take a deep breath in again. And on the exhale, use your core, engage your belly and draw the knees back into center. And now shift them over to the other side. You might have to shift your hips a bit more to the left and then bring the knees to the right. Take a deep breath into the upper left rib cage. As you inhale, feel each and every rib cage separate and open. Feel the lung expansion as you breathe deeply into the base of the lungs. And as you exhale, feel the shoulders, the head, the hips, the knees become heavy. One more inhale. On the exhale, come back to center. Give yourself a big hug. Knees into your chest, well deserved. Come into happy baby. Knees wide. Grab the outside of your feet. Happy baby, be happy. Think of a baby when they do this. They're usually swaying from side to side. They're usually kind of maybe straightening one leg, maybe straightening the other or both, whatever feels good to you. Bring the knees together, grab the back of the thighs, and now you're gonna massage your spine by rocking and rolling. So rock and roll for three, for two, for one. And now we're gonna come into a double pigeon today, like a fire log. So think of a fire log. You have two logs straight on top. So on top of the ankle, on top of the foot. So that's what I'm gonna do with my, with my feet here. My ankle is gonna be on top of my knee and my knee is on top of my ankle. So today maybe it looks like this, right? Slowly, eventually it'll go down and down. But the main objective is to try to have your two shin bones parallel to each other. So you're not cross-legged, but you have two nice straight lines, yes. So if you have a really tight hip like I do at the moment, you'll be stuck right here. If you wanna use a block maybe to help a bit of support, you can use a block here that'll help ease the tightness. From here, you're gonna to twist towards the right. and then twist towards the left. And you just stretch forward and down. Excellent. Let the head be heavy. Feel the shoulders melt down and space be created between your shoulder blades. Slowly come back. And now you're gonna switch, bring the other foot forward. Make sure that your foot is flexed and there's no wrinkle in the inside of the ankle because that protects the knee joint. And now once again, other leg across and over. Maybe this side is easier, maybe it's harder. Once again, pressing eventually the knee down more, flexing both feet, making sure that both legs, both shin bones are parallel. Yes, inhale and now twist towards the left. And twist towards the right. And reach up, forward, and down. Let everything just melt and sink a little bit further. Feel the opening to the hips, the lower spine, the back of the shoulders, the head, the neck. Slowly come up. And now shake out the legs. 
And we just do one little kind of final back of the hamstring stretch and twist. So bring your heels so that they're mat distance. Bring the fingertips behind you, lift into the sternum and really send the sternum, the breastbone forward. So if your hamstrings are really tight, you can use the block and sit on the block if you want. Making sure the tailbone, or sorry, the two sit bones plop forward off the edge. But you don't need to if, yeah, if you're young and you have nice open hamstrings, then no block. And now you're gonna stretch forward and walk the two hands to the outside and then rest down. Back other side and both hands over and stretch down. And stretch back up your V for victory. And now you're gonna twist, frame the mat with your two hands and just kind of twist back and down and eventually your forehead will touch the ground for three. Keep the feet flexed for two. Come back up. Stretch up and then twist to the other side. For three. For two. Come back up. Shake it out. And now from here, cross the legs. Roll the shoulders back. Now stretch forward again. And you're gonna keep walking forward and then now walk your hands wide, stretch up onto your knees. And now walk yourself forward into a child's pose just to release. We're only gonna be here for three breaths. So go into a child's pose. If your hips are really tight, knees a little bit wider. But the important thing is that your forehead touches the ground or your hands. So release down for five, for four, For three, for two, take a deep breath in, cleansing breath out through the mouth. Uh, let's give that one more try. So nourishing inhale through the nose, create space, bring oxygen to the brain, to the muscles. Cleansing, cleaning breath out through the mouth. Ha, cleansing out carbon dioxide, metabolic waste, any toxins. Slowly roll yourself up. Come back to seated. And then your final I'm Tada pose on the ground. So Savasana. So lie down, get comfortable. Just relax the arms just for a few breaths to let the spine, the bones, the muscles, the skin settle back into place. Feel the belly rise as you inhale. Feel the belly fall as you exhale. Now take a deep breath in, breathe in that sense of accomplishment, that sense of getting it done. You showed up, you moved, you breathed, you did it. Exhale out. Ha, ah, that sense of relief that it's done. Now take a deep breath in, breathe in gratitude for taking the time out of your day to honor your mind, your body, your soul. And exhale out, ha, ah, that sense of release. Stretch out fingertips and toes now, like it's the first one you stretch of the day. Reach the fingertips and toes in opposite directions. And now bring the knees into your chest. Give yourself a well-deserved hug. Give yourself some loving. You can either push yourself up or if you wanna have fun, you can rock yourself up to seated. Find yourself back up in a nice, comfortable seated position, bringing your heel back of the left foot. Roll the shoulders back. And if you're in Savasana, that's okay. You can relax and stay for as long as you can. <laughs> bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath, acknowledge life, your heart beating, your breath breathing, your ability to move, to be on the mat, and once again, 
gratitude to be able to honor your mind, your body, and soul through yoga. So take a deep breath in. Breathe in, yes, I am awesome. Exhale out, bow down. Giving gratitude to everything you have already right here, right now. Giving gratitude to the day and the evening that you still have ahead. Awesome job. Namaste. Well done.